USB charging ports are everywhere. Like in hotels, airports, and fast food places, they are a convenient way for anyone who is traveling to keep their devices charged while on the go. Unfortunately, earlier this month, the FBI actually warned consumers against using these charging stations in public places. This is The Digital Prepper, and today I'm going to be talking about juice jacking, what it is, and how you can protect your devices from this new threat. Before we get started, I just want to remind you guys that if you do like the video and want to discuss anything regarding digital preparedness or just preparedness in general, be sure to help this video get out to more potential preppers by leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing to see more like this. With that being said, let's get started. So, like I mentioned, the FBI has actually recommended against using charging stations in public places, and has recommended to carry your own charger and USB cord and just use an electrical outlet instead to bypass this threat known as juice jacking. But what is it? So juice jacking is actually similar to card skimming, which generally occurs at places like ATMs, gas stations, or other places where you would swipe your credit card, and the bad actors have a device that they put at these credit card stations that can steal your card's information. Now, juice jacking, however, happens when criminals alter the charging kiosk with the intent to steal your data. So when these stations are compromised, when you plug in your device into the USB port, malware can be uploaded to your devices where it can put your passwords, credit card information, addresses, names, etc. at risk. Now, what's crazy is that the risk of getting juice jacked has recently grown, as this kind of cyber attack can gather much more data as it can target more people, and it's actually very easy to execute for these bad actors. With practice, one could replace the USB port with a compromised port in a matter of minutes, and all for under $7. And these attacks can be difficult to detect to where by the time you notice, it will be too late. So now that you actually know about this attack and how it works, how can you protect yourself from it? Well, let's first talk about USB condoms. Yes, I said USB condoms, or as they are actually called USB data blockers. These devices are small dongles that add a layer of protection between your device and the charging point that you are attaching it to. These devices are very simple devices and can be found in either USB-A or USB-C models depending on the device that you have, and they're a pretty inexpensive way to make sure that when you plug in your device into a public charging station, it's only receiving power, not transmitting data. Now, from a privacy and security standpoint, there is no downside to this. The only small downside that you might want to be aware of is that these devices can disable fast charging if your device supports it. But let's be honest, for making sure your data is safe, there's no good reason to not own one of these devices. Now, if you would like to support the channel, I have placed an affiliate link to the one that I use daily, but even if you don't use that, just get one to keep yourself safe. Now, other ways that you can keep yourself safe from this attack are to first, bring your own charging cable. And I don't just mean the USB, I mean the whole power adapter to plug into the wall. This is currently the best way to protect yourself from juice jacking. Now, if you have to use a public USB charging point, check the USB port before plugging in your device. Look for any signs of tampering, such as loose wires or damage to the port. And if you see any signs of tampering, do not use the port and if possible, report it to the staff that work at that location. Finally, disable data transfer on your device before plugging it in. Now, most devices disable data transfer by default when they are plugged into a USB port. However, it's just a good idea to double check to make sure that data transfer is disabled. 
if you need any help with this you can you know post a comment in the comments below or just check your specific device manual for settings on this to wrap things up juice jacking is a very serious threat and it's just one more thing to keep an eye on when you're traveling ultimately the best defense against a compromised mobile device is awareness so do be sure to share this out with other people you know, especially if they do things like go to airports a lot, which is where a lot of this is going on. Now, because security at these locations can't watch everyone, it is up to you to protect your data and protect yourself from these bad actors. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to get more videos like this that will help you with your digital preparedness. If you have any ideas for more videos or just want to share your experiences with prepping, please leave a comment down below. Stay safe, stay prepared, more digital prepping to come.